ओम शांति एट्थ जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इन टूडेज बाब दादा साकार मुरली शिव बाबा हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट द थर्ड आई ऑफ नॉलेज वेर ही सेज दैट यू हैव द विजन दैट दिस वर्ल्ड इज एंडिंग एंड देर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ स्टेइंग और ड्राउनिंग आर सेल्फ इन एनीथिंग बिकॉज एवरीथिंग दैट वी कैन सी विद दीज नेकेड आईज हैज द डेस्टिनी ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन like shiva bhava says that those who have complete disinterest in the old world or those who have renunciated the old world so enlisting their signs then the signs and symptoms of those who are absolutely detached from this world is nothing but they have one father and no one else like they offer everything that they have to the father they actually consider that nothing belongs to them and they live their life exactly like a trustee they have absolute detachment or we can say disinterest in the old world that doesn't mean that they stop working to sustain the body they continue to sustain the body they continue to earn money so that they can sustain the body but despite working despite getting indulged in activities or people they have this sense of disinterest in the mind that the destiny of this old world is destruction because the new sun of satyug definitely has to rise shiv baba has also talked about the condition of today's world where he says that everybody is busy in fighting quarreling among themselves they continue to hurt each other by saying illogical words or hurting terms by keeping the sense of greed or the sense of lust inside especially baba has talked about the trace of anger that you brahman children should not have slightest trace of anger in yourself because anger is something that is going to destroy your divinity because divinity is definitely nothing but the behavior that we have in terms of all the physical senses so that's why shiva baba says despite you have so many storms in your mind but don't let your physical senses act in a weird way like shiva baba says that destruction does not take place when other religions come into existence like when jesus christ was responsible to establish christianity at that time the progress of this world the old world was taking place which means the world was getting older day by day but it was not reaching to a to an absolute ending point but this is the contrast that we can have by, while comparing the new religion that shiv baba establishes and that is the religion of dt the eternal dt religion where we can see that after establishment of one religion that is deism all other religions have the destiny of destruction this is the contrast that we can have in terms of establishment of other religions and that of shiv baba's religion that is deism shiv baba also says the that the old world is not destroyed at any of those times but we children understand the fact that geeta is definitely the only scripture and that geeta establishment is taking place right now or that geeta episode is repeating right now which will be in the remembrance in the coming next cycle definitely shiv baba has also raised the importance of sangam yog that it's important for you children to keep churning that you are standing on the purushottam sangam yug where the soul has to become superior in all aspect when it comes to mind words and actions and that can happen only by following the dictates that is given by the one father the one almighty authority shri baba also said in today's murli that he is giving us the knowledge of unlimited aspect like he gives the understanding of this unlimited drama eternal drama he gives the understanding of soul and supreme soul and we really don't have a destiny of destruction or death because soul and supreme soul both of them are absolutely eternal and unlimited shiv baba creates a sense of unlimited disinterest in we children so this knowledge is unlimited there is no point of putting any boundation or limitation to this knowledge like other knowledge they do have a limitation they do have a particular time period but the cycle is of 5000 years and it will continue all the time 
no matter how many bad versions we have had on the path of devotion like that of gomuk that ganga emerged from gomuk however shiv baba says that there is nothing like that water will come out of gomuk it's just an instance of remembrance that is taking place right now in which shiv baba is using the lotus mouth of brahma baba in order to convey the ganga of knowledge to we children and that is one of the remembrance on the path of devotion shiv baba has highlighted the importance of cooperation that the power of cooperation makes even something impossible possible it is basically a fortress of safety shiv baba says he also said that when you have the awareness of double light this double light can be really understood in two aspects however we can relate it in many ways but the simplest possible way of understanding this concept of double light is that you keep yourself and baba together like a team like you are a point of light shiv baba is also a point of light so maintain this double light state of mind the another aspect of understanding is one light is from the loads that you have in your mind stay light from that and the second concept of being soul conscious so either ways we are remembering shiv baba and that can help us to overcome any tough situations or mountain like situations in a very flying stage like if we spend our times in breaking the mountains into pieces so it will require more effort and time however if we plan to fly over the mountain so that will uh, decrease the amount of strength and time required to pass that particular situation so this is what in we have in today's murli and the unlimited detachment or disinterest from this world so that we can become the destroyer of attachment is actually the real essence of murli om shanti